Sherwood Engineering PD4 um, R4C product detector installation. Um, here's the board, pretty cool little board, very small. Um, instructions are a little bit better on this one uh, just from cursory reading. There is no real difference between any of the versions from what I can gather. Uh, looks pretty straightforward. It's a bunch of parts uh, in here. They're all right down here. I need to come out, so I'm going to unscrew the board and tilt it back so it help me out. Um, and then this is going to fit down in here like that. And there's actually a little standoff that's going to be soldered here and clips underneath this little little guy here. It's going to hang down. So I have to move some stuff around, no big deal. Um, should be pretty straightforward. Um, just, uh, again, uh, this uh, is nice. It gives enough wire. You can actually reach to the power supply board. Plenty of places to plug your 12 volt stuff in the new power supply board. I think he gives uh, six holes for all kinds of things. So uh, I think I think there'll be like one or two left when I'm done. So my only thing is uh, he didn't really identify too well uh, T11. And to tell you the truth, every everything that I've seen online, uh, all the um, just by my searching around, uh, all the copies of the R4C manual first are the latest model the latest version 2100 uh, 21,000 and up uh, so I could not find a schematic for this one uh, thankfully this one's a little closer uh, so if uh, anyone out there can find me a schematic for a uh, 18 and 18,000 and change to 21,000 uh, uh, model uh, serial number uh, R4C please let me know because uh, I couldn't find one um, anyway, that's T11 right here. And he's talking about there's two leads, the two that are closest to the audio transformer, which is this guy right here, um, have to be removed. So I didn't really, I couldn't see it on any of the stuff that I saw online. I know it's probably the same transformer location uh, for T11, but the pictures are so bad, you can't see anything. It's like a black blur. Uh, so, um, pretty useless for this application. Um, so, anyway, um, we'll get started. Um, we're back. Um, I've finished the uh, install on the board here. Uh, I have the only, only gotcha. Um, first of all, it works perfectly fine plugging in to the board. Um, if you didn't have the power supply, you can plug into this uh, IF board, but I didn't do that. I went straight to the power supply. It's a lot easier. Um, my only gotcha was T10. T10 has, it doesn't really say what the secondary is. He talks about putting in the secondary. So at first I had wired it to this one and I was getting very low um, audio on sideband only weird okay so um, probably because AM doesn't use this IF uh, so I tried out this one and it worked perfectly so everything seems to work I'm gonna put the covers on it and we'll listen to some stations Thanks for the 592 uh, Texas City. Here again, uh, we had a contact back almost a year ago, July 15th, uh, last year. Yeah. So, good to catch up with you again, Paul, and thanks for calling in now. Yeah, QSL, QSL, July 15th on 17 meters. Thanks to uh, thanks for a new band. Good DX. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, Patrick. Bye-bye. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. You're 5 9 in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, 
Okay, I got uh, Sierra A Italy Charlie Mexico. What's the uh, the prefix again? Now you'll love to hear some dead air and static, um, but uh, kind of weird <laughs> propagation today. Um, it seems to work pretty good. I didn't notice as uh, big of a difference um, with the product detector. I'm sure it's there. Um, it does seem to be a little smoother on uh, on large bursts of energy. Other than that, it, but uh, I think the the Mix 4 is definitely worth the the price of admission there. Um, that made a huge difference, I believe, and the audio too. Um, uh, time will tell. I'll have to operate this uh, radio a little more, um, get a better antenna out there. Right now, I'm just using my mobile whip, and it's not very good, of course, and it's uh, close to some high uh, noise sources. Of course, this is the Galapagos Islands uh, <laughs> uh, that I'm listening to here, um, in this pile up here, and uh, there's some good stations coming through. Um, seems to be as sensitive. I do have to get myself a 22K resistor so that the S meter will calibrate, because right now it's uh, cranked up all the way and it still won't cal to zero. So uh, it's, it's way off, so I have to do that, I just don't have one. So uh, that's no big deal. It's very easy to do. Um, just uh, one wire to ground and one resistor, so it's no biggie. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this little, uh, I don't know if you can call it a review. Uh, I think it's more of a cl clarification of the, uh, of the instructions. They're, uh, again, they're not all that great. Uh, the product is good, from what I can understand. Uh, from what I'm, I'm seeing here, um, it's, uh, it brings this radio around quite a bit. Um, I still have to uh, operate it more, uh, but the initial, all the initial work and the quality of the boards is, is very good. Um, my, my impression is it, it needs, it needs uh, some better writing for the, uh, and maybe some small excerpts from. Uh, from a uh, schematic uh, of the rig, uh, just pointing out what's what. Um, that was my biggest problem. Is uh, he would mention something in the instructions, and you'd have no idea what he's talking about. Um, <laughs> so you have to go into all your manuals and hope that you could find the thing. And sometimes you guess, and and uh, it's not very easy. I would say um, you'd need expert level skills. Uh, only because, I mean, it's not, not that the soldering is hard, uh, not that putting in the boards are hard, it's just understanding the directions. Uh, uh, maybe maybe it's just me, I don't know. But um, uh, I hope this helps you guys. If you got any, uh, any questions, comments, please leave them in. And, uh, and uh, I appreciate uh, you watching. Thanks.